on Capitol Hill, hoping to find out if the government has been hiding, quote, non-human intelligence and whether we're being kept in the dark about UFOs. UAP are in our airspace, but they are grossly underreported. You know, I'm not like a UFO fanatic. It's not, it's not me. But I will tell you that what we saw with four sets of eyes, there's nothing, we have nothing close to it. Do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? <laughs> non-human. Stunning. Congresswoman Anna Polina Luna was in the hearing and joins us in moments, but first to Fox News senior congressional correspondent Chad Pergram with the backstory on what happened in there today. Hi, Chad. Martha, there was astounding testimony at this hearing. Retired military pilots describing what they've seen with their own eyes, which defy physics. The objects that are being seen by commercial pilots are uh, performing maneuvers that are unexplainable due to our current understanding of our technology and our capabilities as a country. Yeah, I concur with that. We have nothing that can stop in midair and go the other direction, nor do we have anything that can, like in our situation, come down from space, hang out for three hours and go back up. David Grush was the marquee witness. He's a former intelligence officer and whistleblower. Grush believes the government may be hiding remains of aliens. Grush said he faced threats and retaliation. <laughs> Uh, I call it a ministry of terrorism. That's their, their quiver, their tool in the toolbox uh, to silence people, especially, you know, the uh, career government service cares about their career, cares about their clearance, uh, their reputation to climb the ladder. The pilots all said there's a culture in the military against speaking out about things they see in the skies. Martha? Incredible. Chad, thank you very much. With that, we bring in Florida Republican Congresswoman. Anna Polina Luna, who was in the hearing today. She's a member of the House Oversight Committee, which is seeing a lot of action these days. And she's also an Air Force veteran. Congresswoman, great to have you with us today. Were, were you convinced that these former military and intelligence officials were telling the truth that the United States government is keeping non-human remains and vehicles under wraps? You know, Martha, after everything that I've witnessed over the last couple of months looking into this, as well as being denied access to information at Eglin Air Force Base, only to uh, eventually see images for my own self and to draw that conclusion, I do believe that there is other life out there. I also believe that um, it is possible that the U.S. government is back engineering um, potentially technology that's not from this world. And as you heard from those witness testimonies, they are coming across here witnessing things that we have no way, shape, or form of explaining uh, with our current known laws of physics. And so I think that it's important that from a national security perspective, and then also to from a perspective of uh, what we know about science, that this is treated with the utmost respect, but also to, you know, um, Graves, when he came forward, and then several other of those witnesses are absolutely right that there is this, um, I guess, culture that exists to try to discredit people that come forward with information. And I think that that needs to stop as a society if we're going to take this seriously. So you believe that there are alien beings that the government is aware of that, that come from somewhere out in space. You believe that, that the government is aware that that life exists out there. Is that correct? I believe that there's other biological entities. I don't know where they come from. And to be quite honest with you, there is a follow-up to this actual hearing in which members of House Armed Services as well as Oversight are going to be requesting a briefing and a skiff that we were, mind you, denied access to prior to this briefing with Grush so that we can get the rest of that information as he divulged this not only in testimony but in a full-fledged interview with News Nation. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's stunning. And he also talked about um, vehicles that are being held somewhere uh, in a government facility. Do you believe that there are alien-like vehicles that are being held under wraps by the government? 
I believe that there's advanced technology that we are currently not aware of. And uh, actually, uh, the former aviator uh, Graves, he actually pointed out that there was a sighting at Vandenberg Air Force Base in which there was um, Boeing employees present that was actually cited in a police report, I guess a Doppler, and he had a whistleblower come forward to talk about that, and I encourage everyone to watch that testimony because he describes in detail what this craft looked like, and it's something that uh, it is unfathomable. unfathomable. You know, I mean, this is the kind of thing that most of us have been hearing about our whole lives, and it, it has always been relegated to, you know, crazy people. Well, they, they think they're seeing things up there, but I watch these, these men at this table, and they don't, you know, they don't sound like crazy people, and they're talking about situations. The man on the far right, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, um, talked about four different sets of eyes that witnessed the same thing, and he said that we don't know how to make vehicles that can pause, you know, midair and then reverse course and go back the other way or come down and hover for a few hours and then head up to who knows where. It's Correct. stunning. Uh Correct, and I think that one of the aspects to this, though, is that why is there an overclassification that exists? Because from the evidence that we have seen, as you know, that famous Tic Tac video, there's a gimbal video, um, there's also a couple others, but that's been confirmed by the Pentagon. So why is it that this information is not being fully transparent with the American people? And then my follow-up to that would be, you know, in, in retrospect and looking at this, the more that people come forward, especially as our technology gets better, the more that we're going to start seeing more of the this evidence come forward and so it's our job as Congress one are we in in honest threat from a national secure security perspective um, with this technology because every single one of those pilots testified that we don't have the capabilities of, of fighting this and so that's my primary concern but I do think it's important to note that you know these people were extensively vetted and looked into they are credible witnesses and at one point Rush who I believe has the most to lose about this coming from the intelligence community did file an inspector general report that we are trying to obtain currently and he also testified that he was in fear for his life. Yeah, you know, that, that was a sad moment. I, I saw that. Um, it takes a lot of courage to come forward, especially when you know that people are going to say that you're crazy uh, to think these things. But it, the corroboration between these individuals is quite remarkable. I want to ask you quickly about the.